Hello everybody and welcome back to another blind commentary of Avatar The Last Airbender Season 2 Episode 19, The Guru. The season is coming to an end very, very quickly. I am planning to do this and the next episode and the season review vlog. Um, pretty much back to back to back. So once you see this video, you should see the next one and then the season review. Um, this will the title is the Guru, as I said. So we'll probably see uh, Aang's metaphorical journey into becoming the Avatar or the vessel for Avatar coming to a close, and that will be very interesting to see. Um, Without further ado, I guess we'll just stump, jump straight to it. One note, I have actually got my new... Well, this is a headset, but I don't use the microphone because it's bad. Um, I got earphones, so the echo at least... Echo issue Water. is at least solved. But hopefully you can hear me just well over, over the... Um, over the episode itself. I have done some tests and I, I suppose my voice sounds attacked. comes over it just the Avatar, of the at least that's what I hope. Could stop them. Because this but would be quite, most, a quite a shame if this failed. Wouldn't you say? I have, the Avatar, an airbender named I have, I have a, quite a lot of hype for these last two episodes because they will be very amazing probably. Very Aang quick, very easy. But... <sighs> but, uh, as I have said, stated previously on Avatar, um, I am not, I am rather immune to hype, so I am very hard to disappoint. Oh, we could actually see more of Zuko's transformation into becoming the flip side of Avatar as well. I wonder though. <laughs> It is, with the is this episode just going to Kiyoshi concentrate on? We are the Earth King's humble servants. Yeah, I, that I remember. But I wonder if this episode will concentrate mostly on Aang or everybody. I bet it will focus on everybody. Well, yeah, clearly. I really want to see like that smell? the Juke. conclusion. I'm sure you wouldn't like it. Actually, it smells delicious. I'd love a bull, Uncle. Now that your fever is gone, you seem different somehow. Okay. Day. So Zuko, like, and literally. Pressure, and today's the grand opening of your new tea shop. Literally Things are changed. Up, Uncle. That's cool. You He's definitely been now good guy. Pretty clearly. So exciting. <laughs> I know I should be, but I just feel sick to my stomach. Don't be nervous. He's gonna be so happy to see you. So what about you? Are you nervous to meet this guru? Not at all. I'm ready to master the Avatar state. I'll do whatever it takes. I still suppose that you shouldn't we... actually use the Did Avatar you... state in battle, but it's a good last measure. And I feel like you it's technically possible to channel parts of the avatar state so that you could just enhance your own and you would become into your own and become a better bender in the, in the process and become stronger in that bend stronger in that way i just wonder it would be interesting also now we get to see their father hopefully i bet this will be interesting to see haven't i feel like we have seen him already but oh yeah we have yeah we have seen him okay yeah hi dad That is a touching reunion. Look, Bosco, the Kyoshi warriors are here to protect us. Everything comes to a closure. Kind of. Oh my it's god, a it's... Week for me. My most trusted advisor, Long Feng, and his Dai Li agents tried to take control of Ba Sing Se from me. It's terrible when you can't trust the people who are closest to you. <laughs> but there is good news. Clever. As we speak, the Council of Five is meeting to plan an invasion of the Fire Nation this summer. On the day of a solar eclipse. Oh, so they didn't know about it. Now that sounds like a fascinating and brilliant plan. So they didn't know about it. Interesting, interesting. But now they do. General Fong's base will serve as Or rather, that surprise could have been just because In exactly two they... months, the army and navy will invade the fire that nation. Surprise could have been just because 
they we were surprised that the Earth Nation was <laughs> aware of them as well. Kitara, act like the adult you are. All we need is the Earth King's seal in order to execute the plan. <laughs> the Earth King. I'll get these scrolls to him right away. Thank you, General Howe. Hmm. That's a pretty big strategic map, I must say. Oh boy, oh boy, I have so much energy, it's really kind of... I feel like I'm trying to speak too much. I'll try to be a bit more quiet, actually. Or rather, um, I well, stop spawning nonsense. You're Guru Patik, right? The person who attached the note to Appa's horn? Indeed. I was a spiritual brother of your people. And a personal friend of Monk Yatsu. <laughs> In your notes, what? you said you could teach me to gain control of the Avatar. State. Monk Yatsu, but how? You that means that that guy is over 100 years old. Before you can bring balance to the world, and the first step to gaining balance begins with this: drink up. Oh hey! Ugh, it tastes like onion and banana juice. That's because it is. Yum yum. Don't accept candies from a stranger. Right. What are you talking about? The Beifong escapes this way. I'm quite certain you're mistaken. Hey, can you two old ladies quit your bickering for a second? I gotta go to the bathroom. Oh. Uh, okay, but make it quick. What's wrong with you? Oh, very sneaky tough. Nice oh try, but you can't trick me. Let me out of here so I can kick both your butts. Quit your banging. You might think you're the greatest earthbender in the world, but even you can't bend metal. Oh, that's a challenge. And so she'll bend metal. <laughs> that that's a pretty big just a challenge, I think. I'm presented with an extraordinary opportunity, girls. May finally gets to wear makeup that's not totally depressing? <laughs> ha ha. I'm talking about conquering the whole Earth Kingdom. For a hundred years, the Fire Nation has hammered away at Ba Sing Se from the outside. But now we're on the inside. And we can take it by ourselves. Gosh, Small you're so really confident. Cool, huh? I really admire that about you. From the inside, we're in perfect position to organize a coup and overthrow the Earth King. The key is the Dai Li. Whoever Clever. controls the Dai Li controls Ba Sing Se. Clever. 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 In order to master the Avatar state, you must open all the chakras. And tell me everything you know about open chakras. Open all the chakras. What are chakras? Oh, I see. I guess we'll start with the basics. The water flows through this creek, much like the energy flows through your body. As you see, there are several pools where the water swirls around before flowing on. These pools are like our chakras. So, chakras are pools of spiraling energy in our bodies? Exactly. If nothing else were around, this creek would flow pure and clear. What a convenience. However, life is messy, and things tend to fall in the creek. And then what happens? What a convenient can't flow? Um, yes. stream but of water there. If we open the paths between the pools, the energy flows. <laughs> there are seven chakras that go up the body. Each pool of energy has a purpose and can be blocked by a specific kind of emotional muck. Be warned, opening the chakras is an intense experience. And once you begin this process, you cannot stop until all seven hours. This reminds me quite a bit from the. Ready? Quite a bit I'll do whatever about like the First, gates of battle from um, located at the base that Rockley and it deals with guys and say used in is blocked by fear. In freaking. Are you most afraid of? In 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 Considering that it's over. Yeah. This will be interesting considering that they have and adapted this rather strangely. You are or differently. For your survival, but you must surrender those fears. 
Let your fears flow down the creek. You have opened your earth chakra. <sighs> oh, oh, this... Hmm. Uh, uh, this episode will be quite important Next for that the water bending theory I have. Brilliant! Maybe one day you will be a guru too. No. This chakra deals yeah. with pleasure and is blocked by guilt. Now, look at all the guilt Why are they just see. negative emotions? What do you blame yourself for? In Buddhism, many of them mm, even you you should not let positive emotions overtake you uh, in a way. So I hurt all of those people. Accept the reality. They are just going to talk about negative emotions here. But do not let them cloud and poison your energy. If you are to be a positive influence on the world, you need to forgive yourself. This bay leads directly to the outskirts of Ba Sing Se. We've been using these tangle mines to stop the fire. We'll gain quite a lot of wisdom through. throughout this episode. Your father invented tangle mines himself. Destructive, buoyant, and <laughs> terrible smelling. <laughs> Very perceptive. The mines are filled with skunkfish and seaweed. When a ship detonates the mine, the seaweed tangles up the propeller, and the foul smell forces people to abandon the ship. I call it the stinking sink. <laughs> Good one, Dad. <laughs> You're definitely your father's son. Hakoda, our scouts have spotted four Fire Nation ships. Mato, get these mines loaded up. The rest of you men, prepare for battle. Uh, what should I do, Dad? Aren't you listening? I said the rest of you men get ready for battle. <laughs> it's awesome that Sokka is considered uh, a man now. Who thought when we came to this city as refugees that I'd end up owning my own tea shop? Follow your passion, Zuko, and life will reward you. It won't be Congratulations, quite as easy, I think. I'm very thankful. You deserve it. The Jasmine Dragon will be the best tea shop in the city. No. I'm thankful because you decided to share this special day with me. It means more than you know. Now let's make these people some tea. That's rather yes. sudden of a let's change. Let's make some tea. I just wonder, like, that's maybe a bit too Bird sudden, I think. is the fire chakra, located in the stomach. My fire chakra would like to eat something other than onion banana juice. <laughs> Good one. Moving on. <laughs> this chakra deals with willpower and is blocked by shame. What are you ashamed of? What are your biggest disappointments in yourself? I'm never gonna firebend again. I can't. You will never find balance if you deny this part of your life. Yep. You are the avatar, and therefore, you are a firebender. Hmm. That chakra opened less like a flowing creek and more like a burping bison. <laughs> Tastes like onions and bananas, but strangely, something else. Pickles? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just fine. That guru is kind of cool. I'm tired of wearing this girly disguise. I don't know how anyone can fight in this. Maybe that's why it was so easy to beat the Kiyoshi warriors and take their clothes. <laughs> how much longer do we have to serve the Earth King? If I have to clean up daily... one more pile of bear poop, I'm gonna throw up. No, of them. Princess Azula promised we would go back to the Fire Nation as soon as we capture the Avatar. We just have to be patient. Shush Those... up. Do you want the whole palace to know we're Fire Nation? <coughs> yeah. Sorry. It's really cool to see how special ops the Dai Li are. Good work, girls. 
I'm sure the Diamin will deliver the message. Clever. That's Fort Chakra is located in the heart. It deals with love and is blocked by grief. Lay all your grief out in front of you. I think I said it correctly. <laughs> hmm. You have indeed felt a great loss. But love is a form of energy and it swirls all around us. The air nomads love for you has not left this world. It is still inside of your heart hmm. and is reborn in the form of new love. Let the pain very good. Can I have some onion banana juice, please? Hmm. <laughs> the fifth in the chain is the sound chakra, located in the throat. It deals with truth and is blocked. I know they said there were seven, but I didn't actually expect that to be like this. This will give me quite a few ideas. By lies. The ones we tell ourselves. Why didn't you tell us you were the Avatar? Because I never wanted to be. You cannot lie about your own nature. You must accept that you are the Avatar. <laughs> that is so iconic. That is cool. Good, Anne. You have opened the chakra of truth. The sixth pool of energy is the light chakra, located in the center of the forehead. It deals with insight and is blocked by illusion. The greatest illusion of this world is the illusion of separation. Things you think are separate and different are actually one and the same. Like the Four Nations. Yes, we are all one people, but we live as if divided. We're all connected. Everything is connected. That's right. Interesting. Even the separation of the four elements is an illusion. If you open your mind, you will see that all the elements are one. Four parts of the same whole. Yep. Even metal is just a part of Earth that has been purified and refined. Yeah. The metallic bond is one of the strongest natural bonds that can create. And by extension, earthbending would be the hardest. But yeah, this is. It would be a lot, lot harder to earthbend metal, but possible. As I kind of bet earlier, so that's actually rather interesting. It's kind of funny that I caught that, but. Uncle! I need two jasmine, one green, and one lychee. I'm brewing as fast as I can. Oh, this that that would result in a misunderstanding. Yes. Once you open this chakra, you will be able to go in and out of the avatar state at will. And when mm. you are in the avatar state, you will have complete control and awareness of all your actions. Let's do this. The thought chakra is located at the crown of the head. It deals with pure cosmic energy and is blocked by earthly attachment. Meditate on what attaches you to this world. Let all of those attachments go. Let them flow down the river. That's oh interesting. What? Why would I let go of Katara? I, I... I love her. Learn to let her go. Or you cannot let this the is pure cosmic energy flow in from the universe. Why would I choose cosmic energy over Katara? 
How could it be a bad thing that I feel an attachment to her? Three chakras ago, that was a good thing. This you must learn to let go. This is interesting that you have to learn. Thank goodness you're here, Suki. Something give terrible in. is going on. The Fire Nation has infiltrated the city. I just saw Prince Zuko and his uncle. We have to tell the Earth King right away. Oh, don't worry. I'll be sure to let him know. <laughs> Yep. Oh. Hmm. So, oh. Zuzu's in the city too. I think it's time for a family reunion. Yep. Everything I'm escalates. Sorry, but I can't let go of Katara. And to master the Avatar state, you must open all the chakras. Surrender yourself. Okay. I'll try. This will be definitely the most hardest one for him, but now this, think of your attachments this quite and let them go. Let the pure cosmic energy flow. Neat. That is quite impressive. something akin to reality bending or something like that if it's at all possible I wonder I I don't know it would be interesting to control space and time Katara's in danger I have to go no Ang by choosing attachment you have locked the chakra if you leave now you won't be able to go into the avatar state at all Is quite a heavy decision. It's another one of her tricks. There's a giant hole in the box. How is that a trick? It's not. It's the real deal. Neat. Oh my. I am the greatest earthbender in the world. Don't you two dunderheads ever forget it. <laughs> that I'm is... going to be stuck in here forever with you, aren't I? I have to go to the bathroom. That's awesome. To go knock some is Fire Nation badass. heads. You don't know how much this means to me, Dad. I'll make you proud, and I'll finally prove to you what a great warrior I am. Hmm. Sokka, you don't have to prove anything to me. I'm already proud of you, and I've always known you're a great warrior. Really? Then I will Why die. do you think I trusted you to look after our tribe when I left? That's great, but I have a feeling that Dad will die. This can't be good news. Of course. Yeah, of course he'll come. Oh boy, their dad is so dead. I am quite certain to be dead. What is this about? Your agents show up in the middle of the night and drag me down here? You will not treat a Kyoshi warrior this way. But you're not a Kyoshi warrior, are you? Princess Azula of the Fire Nation. What do you want? I want to make a deal. It's time that I regain control of Ba Sing Se. And you have something I need. Oh? Interesting. The Earth King's trust. Why should I help you? Because I can get you the Avatar. I'm listening. They'll definitely betray. A message from the royal oh, palace. Whatever. I... I can't believe it. What is it, Uncle? Great news. <gasps> We've been invited to serve tea to the Earth King. Oh, that's a trap. That is so strange. Zuko is so strange now. It's so... So, so... Oh, boy. Okay. And change screens! 
Okay, so I'm take this off. Okay, like this is very much like uh, it was. It was good, like uh, as I said, it showed the freaking. <laughs> it showed Ang's metaphorical journey into becoming a full-fledged avatar. Um, I did not expect him to reject it, though. That's strange. I. That is both a cliche and a surprise at the same time. Uh, I'm going for more more towards the surprise factor on this part. Like it was more surprising rather than being a cliche, even though. It technically could be just taken as a part, as this could be part of the hero's journey called a Denial of Call. But... Not quite. I, I wouldn't interpret it as that. And I would rather interpret this, uh, this as Aang making his own decision about the path he will choose. Or he chose, rather. So that's very very interesting. I I did, did quite like the whole chakra theory, and that will give me a lot more ideas for the future. And I I really have a feeling like you could technically control space time continue continuity. That would be interesting. Something like time bending, even though I don't have a very huge suspicion that won't be true. But that would be cool, because considering the very nebulous concepts they went through and how some of the chakras related to them, especially the last one. It would make sense that you could control everything in a very, very strange and in, in, in a very escalated form, should I say. It's probably not going to happen, it would be cool, but no, uh, that's not what I want. But it would be cool, whatever. Um, so that this episode was pretty cool, it handled the whole um, Avatar part pretty well. Um, the build was amazing and Azula was really awesome in this episode. Like, Azula was so badass. Capital B S. That was badass. She was so interesting, like, she's definitely a very good very good <laughs> villain. Like, she's definitely not just a slouch, and she's very threatening, and she's powerful and clever, and she has powerful allies, and she has good plans. It's She's cunning, and she's cunning and powerful. So that's cool. I wonder what the season finale will be like. I already, I have the suspicion that they will take over the Earth Nation. And then get attacked. Huh, it would be kind of funny if... I, I have no idea what, about the Legend of Korra. I just know it's... In the same universe, technically speaking. So, But it could kind of make sense. Like, at that part, if the Earth Nation joined Fire Nation. Earth Kingdom joined Fire Nation, rather. Um, that that would be the continuity where Korra would step in in the future. Although that's not true, and that you're going to laugh at me for proposing something like that, because I have no idea what the Korra, Legend of Korra is. I will do that at some point. Uh, whatever. Um, just about everything was cool, but I really don't think Zuko was handled all that well. Like, Even though he went through very harsh trials and mis mishaps, and he was plagued for a while, for a long time actually, and he has undergone the transformation into becoming more of a protagonist, or rather, a good will, good willed. Rather, he's become a good guy, but and that transformation has taken the whole season to become, even from the last season. That's interesting, but it was a bit too sudden in this episode. A bit too sudden. I feel like they kind of had to rush it. Unfortunately, that's what I feel like. It feel it it felt felt too jarring. Let's go with that. It felt too jarring to suddenly see Zuko being all all nice, and that's not 
exactly what I associate with his character. I mean, it does make sense as he has he has been changing throughout the course of the series quite a lot. So it makes sense, but I would have preferred him to struggle with his personality a bit more. But it's the end of the season, so there's not that much time left to do that. Um, I also would have preferred that they would have made the Aang's journey in the opening, all the chakras, a bit more... It would have, it should have taken longer, in my opinion. But again, it's the end of the season. They have the story all written up already, and they cannot really change that. And they, it, it does actually make a lot of sense that Ang would be able to e let go of most of his emotions immediately, seeing as he has been struggling with his emotions throughout the whole series so far. So it would make, se it, it does make sense. But I would have preferred it to take. I would have preferred it would have taken a bit more longer. But it would make sense that the last emotion that he had to give up was affection, and and since that was the only positive emotion he had to let go of, so to say, it would have. It makes sense that he denied that. I would have just preferred the. I mean, like. This episode felt rushed, if I could, if I had to sum it up in one word. Rushed. It was, by no means, it, was, it wasn't bad in any way. And that was, the freaking tough part was just badass in every way. Everything about this episode was badass. But it just felt like there should have been, I just kind of wish there would have been more episodes in this season, like. So they shouldn't, they could, they wouldn't have needed to rush this as much. Maybe even one more episode would have brought some levity to this, to this issue, and maybe we could have had. It would have been interesting to have just an Ang-centric episode where we get to see nothing but Ang training and coming to terms with his both mortality and his future as being the Avatar, as well as learning to control and or give up his emotions. But this is by no means bad. I. I do like it a lot, but I would have preferred them to perhaps slow down a bit. It felt rushed. The pacing was a bit too fast, but it was good. Like, the pacing was a bit too fast, but other, you know, <laughs> the only issue with pacing was that it was too fast. And that's only for me personally. I don't think anybody else would have this issue. And that's just because I enjoy slower stories. I enjoy the slow boil. And this was a rather quick boil, I must say. But it was by no means bad. Don't mistake that. I would have preferred it to be slow. I'm just repeating myself. It was good. It was really good. And it's a freaking good build-up for the finale. It's freaking amazing, actually. Especially considering the Azula parts. Those are so great. Okay. I'm done rambling. And as always, I thank you for watching. Have a great day. I'll see you in the next episode. Gunmu out. Oh, by the way, leave your positive, leave your thoughts on the episode down below. I'm interested to see. Yeah, I, I'm gonna do the intro outro again, but I'm interested to see what others think about the episode because I don't know. I I kind of feel conflicted about it, but it was good. So, but I want to know what others think about it. Did it feel rushed to them, or am I just being crazy? I am clinically crazy, whatever. Um, okay. Bye.